Hello, welcome again. This is Dev Kulkarni and I'd like to welcome you on behalf of EQ Technologics uh, One EQ channel. What I'd like you to see now is migration of CAD bombs along with PLM information into Team Center Unified and take you through some of the complexities that go along with it. Okay, in order to do this kind of a migration, what uh, I'd like to show you is a business intelligence report what this report is going to show us is some data from NX CAD files. So this was some metadata that was extracted out of uh, NX files and also from legacy PLM applications. So what we see is the CAD bomb over here, the NX uh, representation of the CAD geometry itself. We run a consolidated bomb report. And so what you see on the screen is three frames essentially. So the leftmost one is the legacy bomb. Uh, in this case, it's an Oracle system. And uh, all the metadata related to the engineering bomb is shown on the leftmost frame. The middle one or the CAD bomb uh, shows the quantities that are slightly different if you notice uh, as compared to the first frame. And uh, the rightmost frame is actually highlighting some of the differences. So this is more used to come up with a strategy as to how we could possibly migrate both these systems. So they are in different systems uh, or different servers and different uh, flavors that you might come across, but it contains information about the same thing. But there will be some dis discrepancies that you might see. Now, for instance, there will be uh, areas where there is no CAD bomb available for certain parts in the e-bomb. Perhaps these are uh, entities which are purchased out from OEMs, uh, things like seats or maybe a toolkit that you see on the screen. Perhaps this is not manufactured and this is just bought out. And that's the reason why there is uh, no CAD bomb. Now, one of the things that we can do out here is to flag this as UG geometry equal to no. Uh, so this is a way by which uh, NX will know that, you know, there's nothing wrong. I just don't have a, uh, a CAD file related to this. So when I'm actually rendering this CAD information, I'll just omit this part and not uh, come up with an error and, and, you know, stall things. Now, the other way is that you can have the quantities that do not match. And uh, if you notice in the leftmost frame, the number of tires that it shows for the car is just one. But if you go to the CAD bomb, it actually shows four tires. Now, how do we actually address this? And one of the ways that we could possibly do this is to mark this as a reference only attribute. And uh, therefore you do not have a mix up when you're actually trying to, to render this information. Okay, so we go into the configuration now that we have come up with a strategy as to how we would want to migrate this data. Uh, we jump into the EQ of MI screen over here. Uh, you can see two connections over here. Uh, now remember that what we did was we extracted the data, the metadata from NX files and actually put it in a database so that we could actually use it for comparison of the data. That very information will be used for actually migrating all of this. Now the actual files will then be picked up by EQMI and then attached to the right uh, objects in Team Center as data sets. Take a look at the actual migration process over here. And what we're doing over here is using another module on top of EQMI, which is uh, the migration process, the generic migration process. I had talked about this in one of my videos earlier. And this is what the process does. This is available uh, out of the box. All that the user needs to do is actually uh, configure how the batches will be created depending on the data, what is the sequence of precedence uh, that one would like to have uh, in actually migrating this uh, data. Uh, this is just uh, a small view of it. Of course, we can go into greater details if required, uh, but you can imagine that this is something that you can, you can configure very easily using the business process modeler. 
Now, some of the data obviously needs to be mapped and the inputs to the generic migration process is the transformation of the data that one needs to have, they being dissimilar systems, obviously there is no direct home for the data from the source system into the destination system and this is uh, you know what TM does, the transformation modeler. You can map the data, you can create rules if the target system already has this particular item already in the system, what is it that you would want to do? Do you want to overwrite on it? Do you want to approvision it? There could be several complex rules that one might want to do. What happens using this is that it becomes very simple because you can do it visually and these maps are used by the generic migration tool. So this is where we are actually creating the batches. The sequences being generated over here some of the dependencies and then that has been fired already and keep a, a tab on the progress that the migration is doing. What this is showing is what has now got migrated once that has been successful. So here we are, um, what we have on the left is what we started with, this is what we planned we would, we would do. Uh, in the center is the team center screen, so PLM related data is there uh, shown here in, in team center and the rightmost frame is showing us what we have uh, migrated into NX and how it interacts with team center here. So now remember we had talked about uh, you know, things that do not have a CAD geometry. Now for instance over here on the leftmost we have a seat assembly in the metadata in the legacy uh, PLM system. Let's move to the right frame to compare the same data and then you see um, the seat assembly again in Team Center which has been migrated by this utility. And if you look at the flag for UG geometry, it is flagged as no which means that there is no CAD geometry related to the seat. And the same thing we see in NX as well on the rightmost. So on the seat assembly what you see is uh, that there is a box icon next to it and it's an empty box which uh, is visually indicating to us that uh, actually there is no CAD file related to, to this. If we look at the tire, uh, you see a similar thing where in Team Center you can see that there is no geometry, so UG geometry flag is set to no. Uh, and the same thing you would see in NX as well, you would see an icon which shows an empty box, which uh, means there is no CAD drawing related to this particular item. So there you are, this is a, a small flavor of what you could do with the CAD uh, and PLM, legacy PLM migration into, uh, into Team Center. Thank you.